the challenge for almost all startups is they just don't have the visibility to get out to the market. It's a challenge. If they're going to invest $50 million in your company, they want to trust you, right? So there have been studies that have shown that uh, for the time being, in a number of uh, um, sectors in, in the medical practices, uh, the radiologists and doctors are not really prone to accept AI. So this is a real, I, I would say, a real barrier to, to market. What do you make out of that? And how do you advise entrepreneur, entrepreneurs to really penetrate markets where there are gatekeepers like like in this case, and, and there is also a very strong regulatory framework. But that's in any market, where any new market, you know, Click Software, when we started Click Software, and I came in as original team member, senior vice president, there wasn't really a market for service chain optimization. It just didn't exist. So a lot of it's education, right? Teaching people that this is a technology that can help solve this. So what I would do is doctors. It's finding who the early adopters are that have name brand recognition and get them to buy off of them, get it to write about it, get the word out. And this is not a bad thing, Paolo. That means that this is a burgeoning opportunity and we know it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. So finding those people that have you know, the influencers and getting them to start influencing and showing them what it can be done. Show them the positive uh, facts. In order to do this, one is the sales cycle is uh, relatively long because you had to educate. So there is a need here for fundings, if you like, more, more fundings. And the second thing is finding the right people that can do that because maybe the entrepreneur is, uh, you know, as the vision, as uh, is good in convincing you as investor, is good in building the product. But then when it comes to do this type of, if you like, educational market, marketing is not, uh, maybe it's not the best. So how do you go about, you know, helping the startups navigating this, uh, these spaces? Yeah, so it's like Evo, right? I came in as a CEO and president of Evo with David. And David's, uh, as you know, a world-renowned expert in artificial intelligence. So. I came in and used my contacts and helped really guide the process to move the company forward. Here's a guy that's, you know, originally from Russia, actually Armenia, Russian, uh, uh, Chinese, Armenian, Russian, Chinese. So I, we actually come in and help guide the process. So you're absolutely right. You know, they just, what they, they don't know what they don't know. So having 30 years worth of experience uh, with tech companies, starting them, helps us guide that company and find who the right resources are and people that, for instance, um, I have a technology right now that is revolutionary that can help stadium security. And we just happen to have some people that are high up in NFL and NBA and they're friends. And to have people help get you in the door, right? That's sales 101, developing relationships. And, you know, also, you want to be looked at as an industry expert and influencer and writing the articles, writing the books, doing the speaking engagement. I mean, that's part of it. So you're right. The challenge for almost all startups is they just don't have the visibility to get out to the market. It's a challenge. What we do, we come in and take operational roles. So we're not passive. We're not passive uh, investors. We are operationally inside of the company, raising the money as CEO and COO of the company. We understand it. So we have to find very unique startups. You know, I tell them, they say, well, I don't want to give up control, but on the other side, what would you, you want to have? A hundred percent of a company that's worth half a million dollars or 10% of a $5 billion company. I mean, you make some of the decisions, right? So we come in based on KPIs, help that company grow. And I believe that's a model, Paulo, because we are now in Death Valley with startups. They get into this situation, they go through acceleration, what happens? They die, right? They die. They don't have the history, they don't have the legend, if you will, to be able to go out and take the company global. They've not done it. That's not saying they can't do it after they've gone through this process, but they haven't been mentored through a growth stage company. And it's not easy. And by the way, a lot of it's trust. 
the people have to trust that you're going to help them. If they're going to invest $50 million in your company, they want to trust you, right? Okay, it's great technology, et cetera. But if they know you because you've already done it a few times, it's a whole lot easier because they become friends, right? They become part of your network. And I believe that is the, the holy grail of why startups haven't been more successful. Because the missing link, the secret sauce is you've got to be operationally in. And Dreesen Horowitz does it a bit. We just do it a bit deeper. We dive in and literally put our reputations on the line with each one of the companies that we deal with, that we're going to get shit done and make this company uh, wildly successful. Each company that we take into our portfolio after interview them, interviewing them, we believe that they have the capability to truly become a billion dollar company without any BS. We truly believe it or we wouldn't put our reputations on the line. And by the way, we've done it, right? So it's not like a lot of people say, oh, we're doing startups, it's really cool. But when you create a company, it's a billion dollar company, you've gone through it and you understand the mechanisms, right? And I believe almost everybody can do it. It's they just don't have the contacts or it's not in their DNA. You know, they just don't like that. They don't like speaking. They don't like uh, marketing, sales, business development, interoperations. They're really good technologists, but they just don't want the other piece. That's really, I believe, where the opportunity is today. Marrying people together to create incredible companies.